we getting ready to go in the mix. Here I am somewhere in the Bronx. For all of y'all, I'm coming in. My man Trey D says he's got the Grand Wizard and Little Theodore together. So here I come. Oops. <laughs> Trey D, the God. What's, good? What's going on? Watch, baby. What's going on? We got the Grand Wizard Theodore, Little Theodore. Yo, let me get y'all a little closer together, brothers. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> Yo, so, so what we getting ready to get into today, brothers? We getting ready to get into music, man, you know? That, that's what it is. Music. This is the 08. We getting ready for the summertime. Big things about to happen. And it's, it's, that's all it is, man. Word up. Word up. Little Theodore out here, you got an event coming up. Yep, yep. I have something coming up um, May 31st of 08. It's going to be an all-white affair down at the Bishop Perry Hall, you know, saw myself small. And um, that's about it. You so put you're a sexy. So are you going into the party business? Yeah. I'm trying to uh, put myself out there a little bit more, a little more um, exposure. Very good. Very good. Also, also with my manager, my, my wife. Okay. Okay. There she is. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to be with you in a second, all right? I got a question for both of y'all. I got a question for both of y'all. What does hip hop um, mean to you? What does hip hop mean to me? Yeah, what, has, what, what does it mean to you and what has it done for you? Well, first of all, a lot of people got a lot of misconceptions about what hip hop is. A lot of people ask the question like, you know, what is hip hop or what has hip hop done for you or what do you think hip hop is the way it is now? I think the question to ask is what is hip hop? Because you can't really answer the question, you know, you know what is hip hop or, or, or what's hip hop done for you until you know exactly what it is. I mean, as far as hip hop is concerned, I am hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I eat, sleep, drink. Everything I do is hip hop. You know, hip hop is a way of life for me. You know, it's not like I, you know, I get up and do hip hop eight hours a day, and then for the rest of the hours a day I'm not doing hip hop. I am hip hop. Everything I do is hip hop. And as far as what hip hop has done for me, I mean, hip hop has made me, you know, it, it's made me a better person. It's, it, it's made me uh, more intelligent. I mean, I traveled around the world like three times. Gary go back around the world again. Me, Curtis Blow, Melly Mel, and the Sugar Hill Game. We got a tour coming up this summer. Okay, so, so basically, uh, uh, um, you know any of the countries you're going to? Uh, and are any of those dates going to be in the state? Because I, I know your well, fans out there. Uh, we won't be doing. We won't be doing no 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 um, dates in the states until uh, until June. Okay. But um, we're going to be going to Italy, Hungary, um, um, uh, Germany. Germany. I'm, I'm sure they we got doing the whole. We, yeah, we doing the whole thing. Spain. We doing the whole UK. That, that, the whole Europe. There you go. Yeah, man. That, that, that's beautiful, brother. Yo, a big, yo, big, give your brothers a big shout out from Charlie Watt. I, I want to catch up with Cordio at some point in time. All right, because I, I, and I want to see me and Gene again. Word up, because that, yo, I, today is his birthday, man. So happy birthday, baby. Oh, happy birthday, me and Gene. Mm -hmm. Word up, wherever you are, you know, <laughs> rock on. Word up, <laughs> little theater, little theater. Before, before I get to the Latin princess, I gotta ask you, what is hip hop to you? Hip hop is basically my life for me. I've been, like I told you at the last interview, I've been doing it since I was 14. Mm -hmm. It's like I was brought up around it, you know, going to the um, the outside jams, you know, and my Grand Wizard, Grandmaster Flash, you know, all the uh, original pioneers and stuff like that. First generation, and, right? You know, once you're around that stuff all your life, it's like you become right. it becomes a part of you. So that's why I'm still doing what I'm doing uh, right now. Right. You know, eight. Word up, that, and, and, and that's what it is. Do you have any 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 do do you guys have any words for the kids out there because? Really, it seems like the kids aren't getting the, be the best of hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? The kids of today are not getting the best of hip-hop. Do you have anything to say to, that, to aspiring hip-hop artists, well, hip -hop people who want to be hip-hop? Well, the only thing I got to, got to say is that, you know, if you're going to get into hip-hop, know what hip-hop is. Know where it came from. You know, you gotta know where it came from in order to know where it's going. Learn about Africa Bambada, learn about Cool Herc, learn about um, 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 P. DJ Jones, DJ Flowers, and all those people. Learn about the history of hip hop before you actually get into it. That way you can know the difference between hip hop and rap. You know? So that's, that's very important, is, is knowledge, man. Knowledge is very important. Knowledge very itself. Important. 
knowledge yourself no and what you're doing. No doubt. May no I doubt. interrupt y'all for a minute? We got Mean Gene on the phone. Wish him a happy birthday. Yo, happy birthday, Mean Gene. Yo, happy I... birthday with my five dollars. <laughs> What'd you say, bro? Say it again, Gene. Yeah, I got all my Okay, okay. I got some DVDs for you. I got okay. some. I got some DVDs of your brother. I'll be around. I'll give you a call. I got your number. All right, man. Give me a call. I'll give you some DVDs, man. Okay, bro. All right, peace, me and Jimmy. Yo, that was the legendary, one of the founders of hip hop, DJ Mean Gene on the phone. Yo, big ups, Mean Gene, once again, wherever you are. Rock on, bruh. All right, now, I got a question for you. Little Theodore. What's up, man? <laughs> how did he get his, how did he get his name? Did you give it to him? Well, you gotta ask him that, you know? <laughs> well, Grand Wizard kind of like gave me his name. He co-signed. He co-signed my name on the simple fact of, like I told you in the um, interview earlier, you know, it was a thing like back in the day. Everybody, you know everybody said you cut. Right, like, um, Grand was a theater, and I kind of like admired him, you know, I should listen to the tapes and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, that's where the name came about. So, I, my cousin Dynamite and all of the hypnotizing threw the name on me. So I ran into the Grand Wizard at the Tea Connection one time. I don't think you remember. I don't know. You remember that? I was like, yo, I'm Lil Theodore. He said, yo, what's up, man? So then from there on, you know, it's 08. So you co-signed for him? Oh, definitely, definitely co-signed. And what I want to say, man, you know, a lot of you pioneers, a lot of you people out there think y'all pioneers, you're not pioneers. Stop trying to rewrite history, you know First what I'm saying? There's a difference. Yeah, man. First generation you and pioneers. You got people out there that's trying to rewrite history, man. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work, no matter what you do, no matter what you say. People know the real history behind the history, so stop, stop trying to rewrite history because it's not going to work. Can I say something? And I am behind you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I think, listen, I think I just made it. You know what I mean? All right. Tell, tell them to go check out that uh, to, to, uh, Torito website and look at all the flyers or whatever. Oh, yeah. I, to, Toledo. Toledo.org. Right. 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 Go to my, all you got to do is go to Little Theodore's. Uh, uh, YouTube site or, or CWAT 911's YouTube site and you'll see I, I'll, I'll put the link up there for everybody who needs to see the flyers who needs to know who was so really there so who was down yeah. yeah. so, so who's really there was what really there's gonna be on the fly but, but now I gotta but here, here's another thing there was a lot of cats that threw jams that never made the flyers. I mean, there was there was the outdoor jams where there wasn't no flyers for. Now, would you say that they that they're first generation hip hop, or would you consider? Because I would consider them first generation hip hop because they definitely had to be inspired by what happened in the Bronx. Because there were a lot of other boroughs that was after the Bronx set it off. You know what I'm saying? So they 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 may not be pioneer status, but would you consider them first generation hip hop? I mean, I consider I consider them pioneers, but people gotta know the definition of a pioneer in order to call themselves a pioneer. Just because that you was you was there back in the days, you knew Cool Herc, you knew Grandmaster Flash, you knew Grand Wizard Theodore, you knew the Cold Cross Brothers, Fantastic Five. You knew all of these groups. Doesn't make you a pioneer. Right. Now, in order to be a pioneer. You have to have pioneered something. Right. You know, you look at Cool Herc, Cool Herc pioneered, you that know, hip hop. The, the jams. You know? Yeah, then you look at Grandmaster Flash, Grandmaster Flash pioneered, you know, like extending the break on records. You look at Grand Wizard Theodore, Grand Wizard Theodore created the scratch and the needle drop. And then you look at uh, DJ um, 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 Flowers with the big systems. And then you look at um, the Disco Twins the disco with the 20,000 20, watts. Yeah, yeah, you know, they, they pioneered something. They did, they did something first. Right. You know, so that's why they are pioneers. You know, oh, okay. if, you, if you've been playing music back in the early, early, early 70s and early 80s and you really didn't pioneer nothing, that doesn't make you a pioneer. Very it good. doesn't make you a pioneer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Grand Wizard Theodore.